time for AliExpress unboxing. Now, we, what we have here, that's the way they do it. I always end up ordering, you know, I get my cart going and a bunch of stuff ends up in the cart. So it all gets packaged in one little thing here. So let me get them all out here. And we'll keep track of how many. There's one down here. Can you guys see it? So we've got four, five, six, uh, seven, eight. Make sure it's all. Eight different small packages that they had bundled all in one big uh, lump package and shipped to us. So let's just start with this one right here. Now, you guys know, one the good thing about ordering from AliExpress, it takes so long to get the stuff that it's like Christmas. It's like a surprise. You're opening a present that you got yourself, especially when you get as old as I am and you're, you know, easily forget stuff. And you're like, what did I order? Let me, I don't even know what that is. Okay, evidently I ordered these, but as of right now, oh, I know what this is. So what we should have in here is a bunch of different little, uh, like ultralight cranks. And let's see if this is what that is. Yep, look right here. These little like bean imitation baits. Let me try to get the camera. I'm gonna try to angle this. This can't, you get it at a certain angle and the lighting's better. So, kind of a rainbow looking one. And I will, if you guys ask, I'll put the links to these. But you can find these all over AliExpress, the little bitty ultralight cranks. And these are the 1.7s. You guys have seen me, uh, and I'm pretty sure you guys know me. You know the channel. If I ordered these and I got this many, they're probably real cheap, right? I got all, I ordered that many in one batch. That seems, that seems unlike me, but there's a bunch of them. They must have been real cheap. But I definitely needed more. I've, I've been throwing a couple, like the test ones. I probably will use one or two of these for a new test uh, bait because one of mine I threw out there and a Jeep ran over it. That freaking Jeep. Yeah, it was a Jeep Wrangler, I think. We're going to get that Jeep. Smash that sucker. But the baits are actually, all of them I've gotten so far from my AliExpress do run pretty fairly true. Uh, I don't know if I've ever tried to true one of these. You just throw them out and reel them back slow in the water and they tend to catch fish. So these are the cheaper ones. And I, I'm sure there's more somewhere in this packaging, probably right here. And I want to think that most of these end up being, uh, those little ones are like a dollar or less a piece after you, when you order. And a lot of times that's, that's what you kind of have to do. You have to order a bunch because like shipping might be two fifty, but, and they're only 50 cents each. And if you order a bunch, the shipping will stay at two fifty or three bucks. So you can get a lot. Okay. So here's another kingdom bait that I'll be honest. You've seen it in like one video or two now. I think I did manage to catch a fish on it. Oh, you haven't seen that video yet. But the, I have one other one of these, and then I first threw it, I didn't like it. It definitely was not true out of the box, and it took a while to get true. So over the last weekend when I went fishing with Charles, I did take time out, and it took a while. I did get the bait to true pretty decent, and uh, I did manage to catch a fish on it. But I'm, these are still up in the air because now I need to find out how well it stays true. You know what I'm talking about? If you... If you true a bait and it's running straight and then you catch a fish and then it's off again, you straighten it and you it's running straight and you catch a fish and it threw itself off, those are junk. I don't like messing with stuff like that. Sometimes they'll be not true out of the package. You kind of can true them up and then they'll stay that way. And if they don't stay that way, I don't keep fishing them. I don't care how well they do work when you take all that time. There's usually other baits out there that will stay true. But there's a nice little bait that gets pretty deep. I do like that part about it. So we got that one. I'm curious to see if it'll run true out of the box. And honestly, looking at it right now, if you guys can make that out. See how this bait looks straight? And if you look at that eye, that eye already looks turned. 
And honestly, the way it was wiggled, that it seems about just like the other one. So I can't say that I can recommend these yet. If you don't mind finick being a you know having a finicky bait that you got to tinker with to get to run true, because there's not a lot out there that small that get that deep. But I don't know if I'm really recommending that bait yet. But I did get another one, and I will try them out. Like I said, it's hard to find them that'll go that work quite like that bait does. Whoa, look out. Okay, here's another bundle type deal I got. Hang on here. All these did come from the same, oh, that's a freebie. I did not order that. Uh, whatever this is, they threw in. That is a wild looking like a buzz bait frog. Got a big old hook hanging out his butt. The weed guard built on. Yeah, I don't know if I'll even throw that, but yeah, maybe. What did I order in this bundle? Okay, so here are two baits that uh, I'm going to see how well they compare to the uh, Proberos. They're not Proberos. But they're roughly that same. Here's our test Proberos. Let me hold it up there. So you're, yeah, it's almost the same bait, I think. May even be the same one just for, through a different company. A couple different colors. So, you know, that color should work and when the water's, you know, kind of staining up. But there's times when it's just working clear water too, but then you're more natural like a bass color. So those should work also, but we will be trying them out. Here's just a little box of the same kind of deal. I just wanted to get a bunch. Of, I don't have, I didn't have that many of these. If you remember, I got some of the real natural looking like crappie and uh, bass pattern ones, but I didn't really just have a bunch to have of the real little baits. I can use a couple for testing and then I can just have them in the box and save my, you know, the better ones that are better painted for when I'm, you know, strictly at the creek and streams or, you know, really wanting that more natural looking bait in clear water. And here, what are these? Okay, so yeah, I did order. There's the ones I was just talking about. Kind of a uh, focus, kind of a rainbow trout pattern. And I got another bass pattern because I thought they looked so good. I did get another one of those. And these are the what I think will work better. The clearer the water gets, the more natural colors. These with the kind of flash. These actually, every color there should work in any, you know clear to slightly stained you know before it gets too murky it's got the flash so if the sun's out they'll be flashing a little bit but they kind of are realistic colors those look pretty good some of these other ones are more of uh when that water gets dark they'd probably be better so anyway got two more of those like i told you i got a bunch of those and here i believe this is just another dr Frankenstein, but in a real good looking color i had spotted that's kind of like that uh Toledo gold or, you know, that craw color that I really like. It's got like a orangish red, yellow belly. That's usually a good color, especially this time of year. You guys hear them talking about spring patterns. That should be good, like right now. And then just a more natural and that clear water. That should be a, that should be a good bait. So two more of those. Wow. I got a lot of stuff. And <laughs> it was all real cheap. All them baits are pretty cheap. The The Kingdom one is like a $4 bait or something, but all those other ones are pretty cheap. And these, uh oh they gave me something free. I don't even use those. A little freebie there, but I don't like those. These, I think, will work good, too. Just kind of a different, almost like a bone uh, matte finish on these. I think these will be good, too. But all these are basically the beans. These look a little bigger. These look like a little bit slightly bigger bait, to be honest. I'll have to weigh some up, maybe. But these look very good. How well they'll catch fish compared to the others is yet to be seen. I don't know what that is. Let me... Let's finish out with these. I think these are all of our uh, little baits. I should have some uh, 
cork butt ends also for the rods in this bunch, I think, somewhere. Hang on, bear with me. Oh, we're only 10 minutes in. I could have swore it felt like we'd been here longer, but... Okay, here we go. Now, I was all over the place. You guys have seen, like... I guess I should set some out. We've got... I got. I wanted a variety. I wanted to have a bunch of these little bitty dudes. There's the real natural, which I already ordered some more of those uh, from the first go round. But then I wanted some of the just cheaper ones, kind of throwaways, basically. You know, you hear me talk about that. If I'm if I'm throwing something and I'm like, I don't know if that bait's coming back. I'm usually throwing like one of my cheapest baits. I don't really care about. So I wanted some of those. And then this was a whole nother. Uh, yeah, there's another one of those. Different places, different packaging, but if you look at that, that's the same bait. Exact same bait. So like I mentioned, you know, through AliExpress, a lot of the same same baits will be packaged differently, coming from a different uh, distributor kind of deal, but it's coming out of the same factory, a lot of that stuff. So yeah, I got two of those. Those look pretty good too. Focus. That color should work at that little creeks and places me and Charles have been hitting. But all these should. This one, anywhere there's that. That should be a dirty water killer, right? More of a natural little. And then, I don't even know what that's supposed to be. Just a kind of a yellow sided one. Should work as the water gets a little dirty. Oh, that one's one we already looked at. Okay, two more bigger packages. I think that is all those little baits. That's enough, right? How many how many 1.7 gram little cranks does a guy need, right? Well, I definitely don't need any more for quite a while. I'll tell you that for sure. Unless one color really kicks in and I start losing that color, I have to order another one. But Let's get to this. Let's see what we got here. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. I don't know what I don't know what we got here. And I remember ordering all these, but some of these colors I it kind of refreshed my memory once they popped in there. Like, oh yeah, that color. And is this more of them? Oh my goodness. I went nuts, I know that. I'm not sure what now these are I remember this packaging from something else I already got. Oh, these are the uh what is no that's oh yeah i know what this is here's our uh i think these are ones where they were throwing the worms in you guys remember that unboxing so they threw in whatever those are the end of your line when you're on your reels i never use those freebies but here's part of our order of our new drag stars so they came in stream angler so what I'm gonna be able to do now is I'm gonna take one of these I'm not sure which color yet and probably look at them it's always a good idea to see which ones are your best some of them might have a slight flaw somewhere that one actually looks pretty good Compare your colors if one's different than the other for whatever reason the last one I ordered was the same way This thing looks like shiny and this looks dull when they come the gold ones anyway the purple ones Yeah, they're almost like that too. the The little zero adjuster thing kind of looks uh Not as shiny as the drag star But I got two purple ones and I probably don't even need that many purple ones, so I'll probably, because I already have one, I'll probably end up deanodizing one of the purple ones and putting it on the uh, Airstream Custom. If you guys remember right, I got like a lingual drag star on it now, deanodized. But my plan all along was to put one of these bigger ones on it. This should be just another purple one, yeah. I don't know why they come packaged quite like that, but... So I'll probably take one of these, deanodize it, put it on the Stream Angler, uh, stream angler, not the stream, the Airstream Custom, and, uh, if you remember right, the unboxing I did the other day, which I still have some of the parts here, 
I ordered some of these in and I will probably use I may even go ahead and put a video out showing how to do that grind down because these parts come with these and only we're only like five bucks and I will need that part for sure and I don't know if I need the drag clicking part but anyway I may put that together in a video and we'll stick one of those on the Airstream Custom. What did I need the other gold one for? Maybe I don't need a gold one either. I don't know. But eventually I may have these on almost all of my reel. I really like these. I think they look pretty good and it's easy to reach over and, and adjust the drag tighter or lighter. And it, it's long enough. It, it actually makes it easier to turn. Its downside is it can be hit and knocked against... Uh, and change your drag I guess would be the downside to it but I I kind of like those so anyway oh I still got one more one more this has got to be the little butt ends that may not even be what I thought I wanted figure out how to open it okay, there's a top somewhere All right if there's a bottom and a side there's a top Somewhere. Hang on. I'm getting it. Give me a minute. Oh boy, this box is destroyed. Look at this. What? How many did I order? I thought it come with three. Look at this kind of... What is that? And I don't have the prices off the top of my head because it was so long ago that I ordered them, but these weren't that high. I want to say you get three of them for 10 bucks maybe. But that does look to be cork. Just a good way, and you can round these edges off or change them a little bit if you want to, you know, just add a little bit of a fighting butt or something to one of your rod ends. So you'll see me using one or two of these right off the bat in an upcoming video. Probably on the feeling rod, maybe. I don't know, something. On the, uh, for sure, on the, uh, oh, the Tetan 661. I may, I may redo the whole handle. I haven't decided yet. If I don't, I'm going to put one of these on the end because I'd shorten that end up a little bit and I never, I never actually fixed it. So that is it. Unboxing under 20 minutes, a lot of different stuff. I will talk real quick this week. You saw videos. Uh, and if you haven't watched them, go back each uh, day. I basically released a video from small footage at this little test uh, pit where the water's real clear. You never catch big fish. There are big bass in there. Like every once in a while, you will catch, uh, I called it five pounders, but we've caught a three pounder, I think, out of there and a couple of fives at different times. But it is hard to catch a big fish out of this place. They're little bitty fish. Excellent though for BFS stuff and for test casting, casting baits and different stuff. So in that video, I wanted to talk real quick. You'll see, I put a video out on the, uh, and a shout out also to Big A's for uh, sending the baits to Charles and me to try out the soft plastics. If you guys don't know, don't know about that, Big A's baits on uh, Facebook is, I think, the easiest way to jump on Facebook and look at his products. And you can order from uh, from there also, I believe. What else? So we did the Big A's. Uh, I keep calling them TRDs. They're the Ned Worm basically what the TRD is of the Z-Man. But he didn't call them TRDs. I think I was throughout the videos. I've been calling them that. But he's got a bunch of baits. I did a video on that just showing again, which is in the two times I've taken it out and fished that bait, it will catch fish. So you're probably thinking, well, are you just going to a place where you know they'll hit the bait? And so it's how, how can you tell that bait works everywhere else? Well, when I go to this little place, usually what works there works everywhere else. And there were baits that do not work at this place. Uh, also, shout out to uh, Omega Custom Tackle, Trey Harple specifically. But uh, the bait I've you'll see in that video... You can still get the Rapture jigs, but unfortunately, and I don't know, maybe Trey will see this, or maybe enough of you guys will uh, contact Omega Custom Tackle and ask for another batch of the uh, 
shell cracker color. That color, I'm telling you guys, the one you see in the video is an old worn out, and I painted the head black because the paint's flaked off over the last, I, that bait's probably two or three years old. But it will flat out, it's kind of like when the, a chatterbait bite is on, or it slows down, or it should be on, but you don't, they're just not hitting the chatterbait right. A normal, like, chatterbait. The Omega Custom Tackle, that Rapture Jig uh, bladed bait, bladed jig, just has, I don't know, it, it it does something a little different, but its startup is still, it, it doesn't take any extra effort to start it. Like, some chatterbaits, they just do. They have, like, a you have to give it a little extra tug or a little extra crank to get it to start. So the Jackhammer, the Z-Man original, as far as I'm concerned, the Custom, their Elite, like a lot of them. The only Z-Man chatterbait I don't recommend is the, I think it's the Freedom. I, I myself, I've seen a lot of videos out on it. Guys do recommend that. I do not like that bait. I bought a couple of those when they came out. I honestly feel like I had less bites on those chatterbaits than any other chatterbait I probably ever tried. Now, the other chatterbait, I didn't get it out during this uh, footage that you're seeing all this week was the cheap ones. I was getting the kind of the jackhammer knockoffs. I just didn't even use it. I did throw, I threw the jackhammer, the Z-Man original chatterbait, the Omega Custom Tackle, uh, Omega Custom Tackle Rapture, and I did throw a black and blue Jackie Hama one briefly. Out of those four, the only one that got hit was that Omega Custom Tackle. I caught two fish. The other ones, I'd never even see a fish come out and like follow any of the others. But I did manage to catch the two fish on the other big chatterbait. Now, I've caught them on other little bitty chatterbaits. But there were several baits I threw that never even had a fish come out and chase. And the one that surprised me was the one that you guys saw in the last batch of videos when I went fishing with Charles. Was the... Uh, I had the hard time with the hookups. The Berkeley uh, Underspin. I threw that bait probably as much as any other bait I threw. And I never had a fish come out and follow it. The week before, when we were actually at down fishing with Charles out of a boat, that fit that bait would not get hit the water without getting hit. Now the hookups were, they were kind of whacking at it, and you know I think the bite was a little off, and that that one bait, the barb was jacked up. But it's kind of weird how that can happen. You'll have a bait do so good one day, and then it just was like non-existent during this little testing deal. Another bait that I know works, but it, maybe it's not a cold water bait. Uh, I was throwing a couple different little uh, Berkeley, or uh, not Berkeley, Rapala uh, scatter wraps, the little ones. And those usually will catch a little fish. And I threw two different sizes, didn't even have any, uh, I had, I think, a couple followers, but nothing would commit to that. Uh, I threw the little, I think I have it on the video, the jerkbait video. I threw them, the smaller jerkbaits didn't get hit. The biggest jerkbait did, had the most action. The, the like junior size was the next and the little ones were I, I just couldn't get him to hit that littler jerk bait I didn't even throw any of these guys by the way I didn't even think about it until I got done and was starting to edit footage and I'm like I didn't even pull any of these out the you know ones I already owned because I, I had meant to pull them out and try them because I tried the little bitty uh the flashback minnow little z-man the smallest chatter baits they make those were catching fish uh I don't know. There, there was. It was like the bite was on when you had the right bait. But if you put something on uh, that, you know, like it, it was just shut off. Like you wouldn't even see a fish come out and follow it. But the proberos, it still stuck around and still did good. The proberos, uh, little bitty square bill. So anyway, <clears throat> be looking for. If you haven't watched them, go find them, and then. I'm probably not going to go fishing this weekend because it's going to be in the mid 50s is all. So I'll probably message Charles and we probably he was wanting to go. I I don't know. I probably won't go. I have a whole all the footage from when I went fishing with Charles last weekend that I've still got to edit into videos probably over the weekend and it'd probably be another 3 to 4, maybe even 5 videos out of that footage that I got to start on now. So I'm not sure if I'm going to go fishing this weekend at all. The good news on the truck front Keep your fingers crossed. The truck is back from the shop, fixed. Let me tell you this story real quick. It's, it had a spark plug spit out when I got it. That's how I bought it cheap. Fixed it, it spit it right back out. They fixed it again. The next morning, 
I thought we thought also that uh, Keith also thought like I did. Well, that one didn't hold either or something. Well, come to find out, that was like number seven. Well, number five spit this time. So I bought the better kit, took it to him again. He fixed it. Fingers crossed, if another spark plug in that 5.4 Ford motor spits out, I'm taking it to him with that kit, and I'm going to just pay him to replace every other one and get it a done deal because I'm done messing around with a spark plug spitting out of this motor. So as long as it's not one that uh, has, you know, been fixed, the, that kit I've got, you know, it drills out a new hole, taps a new hole, put the, you know, a solid metal almost like an adapter looking deal basically you thread it into your new threads and then it's got the same size as a spark plug then it will be a done deal but hopefully uh it i should get a year or two before it even thinks about spitting another spark plug fingers crossed uh, everything else seems solid i did try it I'm not, i'll be putting a video out again on the patagonia mt tires i did a rough little kind of a video on it but we'll get out take a look at them i'll, I'll probably do it on the gopro and we'll actually go for a ride and you can see how you you know as much as a gopro will allow you to see the sound and the if there's any vibration or not and i'll tell you right now they drive they look like a very aggressive mud tire but it drives like a mild uh kind of all train if you guys are familiar with like the Hankook atms or the at2s or uh, there's several other ones that you know or they're not really an all-season. They're more like an all-terrain tire. It drives it smoother, smoother than those. It's got. It, I don't even hear any hum. There might be a slight hum, and I'll record it, and we'll we'll be able to tell. You know, it's probably not as smooth as a good you know highway tread, but I'm telling you guys right now, you'll be surprised. And I was surprised, even though guys have been telling me that they they run real good. They're more like a cupped tire, so that center tread is what all this running when you're on the highway. That's what allows it not to have that, you know, going down the road. So very good tire so far. We're going to also check the mileage. The truck's got high miles. It's got 238,000 miles on it. Now it's like 300 and some miles. But so 238,000 miles, we're going to keep track of these uh, Patagonia MTs on this show. Also, I'll be putting video in case you guys are looking for a good mud tire. The Duratrax, Goodyear Duratrax, Goodyear Wrangler Duratrax tires. I recommend those for a mud tire. They're an awesome tire, too. But, man, I, I felt they wore too quick. I had them on a year on my old 97 Ford. And after a year's wear, front and back, they seemed to w worn about even. But, man, they seemed like they wore too fast for as expensive as those tires are. But, man, that's an awesome mud and snow tire. I will tell you that. So I don't know if these Patagonia MTs would be as, as well of in the snow. But they should be as good or a better mud tire than the dirt tracks, I think. We'll find out. We're going to put them to the test. I'll probably do a little, not a mud run, but... I'm sure we'll end up somewhere where it'll be a little sketchy getting in and out of, and I'll put a video together then on the Patagonia MT, see how well they, you know, how confident I felt going through the mud with those tires. All right, guys, keep it under a half hour. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned. A lot more coming. Uh, unfortunately, due to weather, probably not fishing this weekend, which kind of sucks for me. I was, I was anxious to get back out for at least another day, but I have a few fishing trips already under my belt. Uh, this season i've yet to buy a fishing license mine ran up in uh february and we're all already at the end of march and i haven't got a new fishing license yet so i need to run to somewhere and get one of those and i need to go down to the odessa reservoir and get a or in odessa and, and get a permit for the reservoir i plan on hitting that place also continuing on to where we've hit with charles and hopefully a few new places this year uh, will be popping up on the channel because like i said right coming to a honey hole near you so get out of here, go bass and bonsai, whatever you do. Make sure you have fun doing it, and thanks for watching.